this is a, a follow-up to uh, an hour's webinar I've just done on the Mayans and reawakening the divine within your heart. And what was so moving was that what the Mayans predicted all those centuries ago, what they're asking of us is what France has asked of us four years ago in July 2006. To hold the light, to reawaken the divine within us, and to be aware that there's a force around us, a force of evil that is blocking us from engaging with our heart. And that that force of evil has many disciples who are more preoccupied about materialism, about greed, about selfishness, than about love, honesty and truth. And because this week has been quite a profound week on many levels, one has to have closure. And the closure that I seek is to draw a line in the sand, to draw a line with the blood of Christ, to draw a line with every faith tradition known to God, known to man, and to say, I have recognized the face of evil for what it is. And though disturbing and distressing, to have seen that face closer to hand coming from one's own family. Is it surprising? No, it's not. Because, you know, we're made up of free will, aren't we? And we all have a choice to surrender the heart to God and embrace our abundance or live a lie. Now, I know in the last few years there's been a great interest in manifesting your abundance, spiritual abundance. Yes, as a Christian, you can claim this. God wants you to be rich. God wants you to have all the material wealth you can have. There's been a great interest in the secret, the laws of attraction. But I think what should be said, there should be a health warning a spiritual health warning to those who come to the law of attraction and to the secret and the Moses code and the Enoch code. I'm familiar with all the codes, but there's only one code. And the code is love. The code is about God. It's the code of the creator who has impregnated that within our DNA as evident from the ancient teachings of the Essenes. Isn't that so? So the secret, the Moses Code, the MI5 Code, it doesn't matter what the name of the code is, we have already within us, in our DNA, the codes of survival, as light bringers of peace. Our DNA was activated before we were born so that when we came into this incarnation we came with the tools of our craft. Many have lost those because they've misunderstood the message. God isn't saying you can't have wealth. But what God is saying to those of you who have sleepless nights sat there in your bed with your beloved eating your munchies, besotted, besieged with an addictive personality to try and manifest all the material things that the world can give you, you've lost it. You've lost it. And could that be the reason why there's been, I would say, a million percent increase in men and women desperate, frustrated, lonely, embittered, envious, evil, who are spending their limited savings in a recession on all these psychic helplines, 
tarot readers going to see Mystic Meg or Septic Peg, whoever she is? Is that the reason why so many people are preoccupied about materialism because they're more focused on what they want, what they will get and what they will demand? Where have we gone wrong? Why are people not listening? Why are they closing down the very heart that was in the presence of God before they were born? The same heart that was adoring the divine. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Where's that gone? Ah, it's been replaced by the new Bible, called I want, I will have, I will get, I will destroy to get. Let me just put it simply. The only code that's worth any form of credibility today is the code that's been given to us by God. And now that we're coming to 2012 and understanding the Mayan philosophy and prophecy where their calendar ends on the 21st of December 2012, many have hijacked that and said, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, God, what are we going to do? Let's buy up all the food in the supermarket. Let's hoard. How selfish. And all it's saying is, be aware of the dark forces as we go from the fourth sun into the fifth sun. The fifth sun is connected with the tree of life because from the sacred earth came a sacred tree on which hung Christ. Oh yes, not religion. Christ was hijacked by people who've become addicted to the secret, to the Moses code to the laws of attraction. They're more or less saying to God, I want you to give me my wants. And God is saying, tough titty, you're only going to get your needs. If you're thirsty, I'll give you water. If you're hungry, you can have a bowl of porridge. But today people are besotted. They're besotted by the fruits of the Antichrist, which is evil and materialism, greed, power. They'll stop at nothing. They lie. They cheat. They steal. They marginalize the vulnerable. Those who've been caught up in petty crime. Oh, I couldn't be associated with them. They're evil. Those who are gay or lesbian. Oh, please keep them away from me. They're vile. The alcoholic, the drug addict, the prostitute. Oh, please. And that's their philosophy. They're so judgmental because they're without reproach. Or as Granny used to say, those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So let us be aware of the philosophy. Let us be aware of the philosophy of the ancient secret. And the ancient secret is this. Honor the divine within your heart. Reawaken to your truth, surrender, and embrace your abundance. God will give you your needs, not your wants. So today, embrace the Mayan prophecy by being aware of the force of evil that tempts you to be greedy and materialistic, and embrace your truth. Hold the light, heal the earth, give it love, give it blessing. Reach out in love, not hate. Or as the great Tempada said, hate is not overcome by hate, hate is overcome by love.